Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Lunar Nebula Gaming with me, Jelena. Today, we're finally checking out what the new update is in Void Tyrant with the Staff of Glavindu. Looks like the Dignitary is the boss here. Um, yeah. Gonna be a lot of priesty dudes and stuff. So let's see. The Staff of Glavindu, Yermanland Reach, the Orient Order, used to be respected through the kingdoms, but Glavindu, the god they serve, got corrupted is trying to rise above the Pantheon. The dignitary of the ship is thought to have a chaos key and is somehow using it to forcefully enlist people to their order. I think I want to turn down the music. Okay. I think that's better. Let's move on. So the real question is, is this spaceship a staff that was thrown into space by some giant dude? That's a weird name. Staff of Glavinder. Unless it's like, this is my employee staff. The staff of my business. Let's see. The halls of the Staff of Glavinder are pristine. The fanatic followers of the Oriot Order believes that space is the realm of gods, and space travel in an untidy ship is blasphemous. Well, that's interesting. You know, the phrase cleanliness is next to godliness. Apparently started by the Puritans. Hmm. Sobin Dayflight. Orient knights used to be honorable, but ultimately, they chose to follow their god blindly, even as he fell into madness. If there's a chaos key here, I'd better find it. Okay. It sounds like a plan. Zelomantis, we meet again! Uh, you know what? We will use our wisdom dust. Why not? Um... Okay, sorry about that. Still juggling the sound a bit. I don't know why things seem a little different today, but... You know. Um, do we want to punch him so he can't play cards? That is a question I have. Ooh, ooh or we can kick. Let's do this first. Divine Blessing. Great card, Zelomantis. Great card. Um, let's see. 50% of the cards he plays would be good for him. So we don't want to kick right now. Or not, not the hand cards, but okay, that would have been bad for him. Hmm. Well, mistakes may have been made. Let's see. One more. Oh, perfect. Won't complain about that. Okay. He's got 10 energy. I don't see much use in punching. We can use Unstoppable Fury, so we will. It's just such a good card. Okay. Now we can. Once again, though, about 50% of cards. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, at least we have good defense. Hmm. Yeah, the, the larger health pool of the knight combined with better defense really does help you get further in the game. Hmm. We don't need you. Okay, well. Test of Devotion. In the next round, both combatants stand. Whoever has less energy points takes 16 holy damage. What? Okay. That's bad for me. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna take some holy damage. I don't think it's worth drawing a card. I think defending will help us more. Okay. Oh, one round after it's played, so that should be this round? Okay. Well then. I'm gonna gain some energy, hopefully. Hmm. I'm playing you. And then the question is, do I play my buckler? I don't need, you. I don't need the health right now. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. Yeah, Test of Devotion just hit me. But oh well. And it did hit me for the full amount, so it looks like that does go through armor. Great to know. I don't actually need this right now, but I might hold it in hand for a later date. Blood Nebula, you know what? For once you might actually be useful, Blood Nebula. Maybe not. I take it back. <laughs> We're playing the buckler. Okay. Do I risk it for a biscuit? Yeah. Okay. 
We have less biscuits now. But our buckler is going to block all of that. Thank you, buckler. Mm. Armor breakage we really don't need. This guy doesn't have that much armor. It's probably because he's got that giant, like, core in the middle of his belly. It's hard to armor that. You know? Oh, what am I doing? I stopped paying attention to what I was doing. Okay, wow. Okay, apparently I'm tired. <laughs> okay, we're holding out of that for sure. Uh, I'm stopping over here. No. I'm not gonna shuffle. Let's do that. I had an 11, and I just stopped paying attention, and then bam. Hit me in the face. Uh, strike the inflict energy sack. Okay. Another one. Hmm. I could fish for the buckler. Alternatively, I draw one card, hopefully it's not a six. Hmm. Well, that changes some things. Yeah, okay, we're going to do this, and that, and that. Too bad I couldn't play uh, the Blood Nebula stuff, but oh well. Winning is good. Let's see. Treasure? Treasure. Yes. Okay. So we got 1100 XP because of the wisdom dust I played at the beginning. Ooh. The Oriot Order are against space burials and will usually store bodies on a sacred catacomb deck until they can reach a starport. So we're going to face the space mummy. Is that what I'm... That's what I'm hearing? Yes. Oh, wow. You immediately regret your decision to use this as a shortcut. You can hear shuffling and wailing in the dark. And you can smell the sweet incenses used in necromancy. The hatch closes behind you. Something tells me Glovinder is not happy with this order. Especially since this place doesn't look very clean. Twin Blaze Projectile. Deal 19 heat damage and another 19 heat damage if your opponent is burning or engulfed. Since when do space mummies play with fire? Oh, grummy. You filthy, filthy mummy. Filthy Dodger is what it actually is. Hmm. Reckless dodge guard. Attacks have a chance to infect. How weak. Uh, weak to holy damage, immune to bleeding and infection. Grummies are also wrapped in dry materials, making them weak to heat damage. Well, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, we don't need you to eat. Battle cry. You know what? Yar. You would be fun. But we also need health. We can't afford to play more hand cards, so let's get rid of that card. Hmm. If I had my might booster as well, I'd use both of them. For now, though, let's uh, let's just draw a card. Okay, that's bad. Hmm. Okay. Let's play Battle Cry. Oh dear. Well, we're gonna defend here. We're gonna take some fireballs. Well, I'm glad I saved my health loop up. There we go. Alright then. We don't have any tools, so this is actually useless right now. Okay. A wrap. For the next 10 rounds, your opponent takes plus 100% damage from heat damage and has a 15% chance to miss with melee attacks? Hmm. Defeat for the next three rounds, your opponent takes... Oh, so it's just good for the mummy. Huh. However, we really don't want him to win. Okay, so we should fish for our modifiers. Got it. That's not a modifier. Do I play this now? Yeah, we got a few of these. Okay, I want to get rid of you for a modifier. Well, fencing sword. Okay. Oh my goodness. So the wrap did take effect. So we've got that for 10 turns. That's annoying. Okay. Well, we're just uh, gonna keep going. Oh, that smite though. It did twice as much damage, I want to say. Did 44 anyway, which is really good. Better than 16. Uh, we don't need the health thingy. Hmm. We'll risk it. It worked. 
And the smite also took effect, and I think that it also gave us more energy. Hmm. I'll take it. Take it to the bank and cash it in. Okay. Grab, grab him. <laughs> is playing grab right leg. Whenever the opponent draws a six, they immediately become unbalanced. This effect lasts until another grab is made. Oh. Well, okay. That's kind of fun, though. It's like an instant effect. I feel like monsters should be able to do stuff like that, even though it's annoying. Higher attributes, normal, relentless, offensive card. I can't remember what that one does. Well, let's play our Unstoppable Fury. I'll get rid of you. I pretty much never use the shove back, because you never know if that's going to be good for you or not. Oh dear. Draw. Okay, that worked out. Alright. Is this thing holy? I'm trying to figure that out. It doesn't look like it should be, but it might be. I do like how it's basically waving hello to you. Uh, we're going to get rid of you. Okay. The opponent can't play offhand and consumable cards. This effect lasts until another grab is made. Oh dear. So I'm unbalanced. So there's a 50% chance that this is bad for me to draw. Yeah, that was bad for me to draw. Thankfully it's only one attack. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, they keep grabbing. Uh, they're very handsy here. Okay. Yeah, we'll take this. Uh, two hits should be enough to do a man, I think. If we want to make sure. We'll play the fencing sword. Because we should be able to get that back in energy with another strike. Right. Yeah. It paid for itself. Alright then. So we have more energy than we could have had. Oh, wow. That grab him was really the one to uh, use the wisdom dust on if I had still had it. I guess because it was an elite? That makes sense. Moving on. What are you? Reanimatoid. Energized Flexor. Okay. Yeah, it has full energy and a couple hand cards. A punch card would be good here. Aha! Speak of the card, find the card. Just like Yu-Gi-Oh, part of the cards. Karibo, I choose you. Okay. Well, we're getting some good hits in. Too bad I didn't play my uh, attack booster. But we still have the money wraps, so we still have a 15% chance to miss. This is pretty useful for us, and I think I'm going to save it for the mini boss that should be up ahead. That's my thought. We'll see if it works. Decomposition. Oh, great. Huh. Until we've drawn three ones or the battle ends, we will take five damage regardless. And if they win, we'll take 11 damage every round. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, until the battle ends. Okay. That's, I'd say, more fair. But yeah, as a priest, this would be just like a death sentence, practically. Hmm... More reasons not to want to be a priest, I guess, in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and play our modifiers. Because why not? It's got one card left. I doubt it's something that's like, uh... Yeah. What am I thinking here? Words. I'm thinking words. Well, neither of us really won that exchange. I guess I'll take it. Okay, I'm glad I didn't kick ahead of time. Do I kick now? I think the answer is yes. That's my thought. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Now we just need like a punch card. So do I fish for it? I think the answer to that is why not. Ooh, battle cry. We don't need you. Well, we found you. Uh, okay, we're not going to keep fishing. It's apparently a waste of time. Need to draw again. Hand axe. Ooh. A lethal wound, eh? Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, that was like the perfect timing for that. Um, we don't have our unstoppable fury. But we are just fine. We wouldn't take a lethal wound, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll just uh, okay. Decomposition. How annoying. Uh, let's get rid of the shuffle. We can go ahead and play that. Okay. What next for you, reanimatoid? Taking over the world of the music entertainment industry. You never know. Did we take the 50-50 here? Hmm. 50-50. Okay. Well, we'll have a lot more energy for the mini boss then. Decomposition should go away. That's a fun animation. <laughs> okay. Ooh, precision dirt. Uh, no, we're good. Wait, what's this? Weapon speed. Oh, uh, okay. That's right, I forgot about those. We can have multiple copies of cards. We're so close to level 7. Elite Gummy. This isn't the mini boss, is it? Hmm. No, okay. Twin Blaze Projectile. I don't think it has enough health for me to want to use my Swiftness Booster just yet. Use the one or ten, but oh well. Now we do this, and well, that worked out just fine. So we should win here, I think, right? Yeah, pretty good. Cool okay then. Give me then gold. It's okay then. New consumable, cracked mirror. Your opponent loses half of their EP. The EP cost the next card you play is discounted by the same amount. That seems fun. Okay. What do you have for me, mystery pack? Do you have a mystery machine? Uh, Swiftness Booster. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it again. And Shadow Clone. So we could Shadow Clone a Swiftness Booster and get six strikes out of that. Ooh, melee or health? I think we go melee. It seems to be working for us pretty well. Unstoppable Fury we can't upgrade anymore. A mass Anger. If we upgrade you, you do not become cheaper. Armor Breaker. Yes, okay. We'll do that. Greater Smite. In any round that gives you a two-strike win, add an extra critical melee attack with holy damage. Yes. We already have a shuffle. We don't need more. We don't need more shuffle cards. Wait, was that the last one? Huh. Oh, okay. Well, I thought there'd be like a... Kind of like smuggling seems more of a... A sort of mini boss. I mean, it was an elite. Oh, did he just play a crack mirror on me? No, it just automatically played. What? Okay. Destroy your opponent's equipped weapon? What? I don't want to do that. Hmm. I don't think I need the mirror right now. I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh, he did play the mirror on me, I think. Because I had full energy and now I don't. Hmm. How rude. Well, let's draw a card. First, you get your pencil, then you draw your card. Let's get rid of you. Okay, fencing sword would be good. We can just use the buckler, though. Except victory destroys our opponent's equipped weapon. I don't like that. Okay. Well, I didn't need to play the buckler. Okay. Alright, the Oriot. Elite Disarm. Knights of the Oriot Order fight ferociously with holy flails. Attributes are higher than normal, has a disarm curve. As we have found out. Uh, I think I want to play my Swiftness Booster now. Energy Shard. Disarm. Okay. That's once again not great for us. We don't need you. We'll play you. Play Master of Tools. Get these things out. Because why not? Um, and then I think I'll stand. I've got enough D 
defenses. I don't have Unstoppable Fury, unfortunately. Okay, we'll play you. I'll play you now. And let's see what this guy gets. Gain 30 EP, become dazed. And gain 4 armor bonus until the end of next round. Too bad I don't have armor breaker right now. Hmm. So, he can't play any more hand cards, right? He's blind. Hmm. I'm going to draw another card. He's going to stand at 9. No, he's not because he's blind. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, what do we do here? He's not blind anymore. So he's not going to do a, a dumb thing. On purpose, anyway. Too bad we drew that potion we didn't need. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, can you just kick him? I mean, he's got 14 armor, but what happens here? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Disarm. Oh dear. That did not work out nearly as well as I'd hoped. Uh, add a critical strike that deals bonus damage equal to half of your total EP the time the strike is generated. So that's five right now. Okay, we don't need you. Let's stop a little fairy is good. When... Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Weapon destroyed! Ugh. Oh, so does that mean is it destroyed forever? Is it in my inventory still? Oh, it's destroyed forever. Oh my goodness, that is insane. Okay. This thing is mad. Hmm. For now, let's just draw cards. I don't need battle card right now. Do that. Supreme Force. I wasn't paying enough attention to that. Basically, he gets a damage bonus. Okay. Hmm. Well then, what do we want to do here? Hmm. I think what we want to do is win. So we will. I got my tiny little punches since I don't have my fencing. Good. Okay, but we won by at least two strikes, I think. So I think that's why we had that thirty. Right? New melee weapon. Compare. Yeah, they literally destroy your weapon? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we have a lot of armor breakage now in the deck. Man. Yeah, that seems a little too crazy, but you can get weapons pretty easily in this game, so... Not a big deal. Hey, you there. I managed to sneak out of my cell. I'm out of here, but first, let me teach you some alright spells that I picked up while in prison. None skill. Ooh, cool. So, Unforgiving Glare for the next three rounds, whenever the opponent overcharges, they immediately lose all their energy. That's interesting. But you'd have to be able to force them to overcharge. Twin Light Projectile. Deal 15 holy damage and another 15 holy damage if you have more energy than an opponent. Sometimes that would work. Sometimes it wouldn't. Uh, Supreme Force. Deal gain one damage bonus plus one damage bonus for every 10 EP you have above your opponent's EP after deducting the cost for playing this card. Okay. Or gain three armor bonus for three turns. Oh! Yeah, Stone Skin Supreme Force seemed like the best. Okay, and that was the card that he played last time with Supreme Force. Um... Hmm. Let's take Supreme Force. That just looks fun. We have enough armor, I think, that we don't really need more. That's my theory. Okay. Ooh, a Pantheon stuff. Well, that would help us get more Supreme Force. Uh, it's holy damage. It's one less. But it's magic, right? <laughs> we'll keep the laser dagger, it's more damage. Okay. But it was cool to see them in their staff. So I'll wait. Moving on. Oh, a shrine, eh? This seems like a longer level. Destroy a card or duplicate a card. Uh, destroy a card. 
Let's see. I never really use a mass anger. So it's kind of just in the way. It's not like it's useless. Or shove back. I never use shove back. Okay. Goodbye, shove back. Moving on. Oh, it's another orbit. Oh, he's going to destroy my stealth. Regenerating stealth. Okay. Well, sir. You're annoying enough, I think. I'm going to sucker punch you. I'm going to discard you. We're going to get our laser dagger so we can go through your armor. And then if it looks like we can win... Do I use... I'll use one swiftness booster. Okay. Yeah. Alright. We both stand. Yeah, oh, since we won by two, he gave us that extra hit from our, uh, like, greater smite perk. And then we got all the other hits. That was awesome. Okay. What's to the right? More treasure. A hand axe. Ooh. What's the lethal wound do? Yeah. Okay. That's better damage. We'll take it. I do miss armor breakage. But oh well. Moving on. Ah, the dignitary. I'm so dignified I have little flaps over my eyes. You have come to join our cause and kneel before Glavinda. Step forward, child. You're mistaken. I know you bestow a chaos key. And I'm going to take it with me. It is crucial to the safety of the universe. No. Glivinder has given us this holy chaos key to help us in our quest to guide more souls to the light. You cannot take it. That is hypocrisy. You employ dark artifacts in the service of your so-called god of light. What you do here is wrong, and I will have the chaos key. Silence, child. Prepare to face the judgment of Glivinder. That's an interesting stat. Got like two suns on it. Dignitaries of the Orient Order will stop at nothing to serve Levinder. He does 21 holy damage, that's nothing to sneeze at. And he's got quite a bit of stuff. Ooh. Supreme Force. Why yes. Does that last for the whole battle? So it looks like at most you can get three damage bonus from that, but that's still really good. That's better than Battle Cry. It costs one quarter of Battle Cry. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm a breaker. Let's get some stuff done. Twin light projectiles, we don't want him to win. Spin clockwise. Oh, that's cool, you can see. He's kind of raving out with staff. Do, 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 do. Attack gauges are raised by two steps more than what dealer cards show. This affects both combatants for the remainder of the round. I don't understand. That's really cool. But I don't understand. <laughs> um, okay. We're going to do the buckler just in case. And I'm going to draw another card. Okay, so two became five. That is what it means. Oh, armor breakage. So good. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. He can't spin clockwise anymore. He doesn't have the energy for it. Um, let's give a hand axe. Hmm. Let's get the buckler just in case. Okay. But a shadow clone, our swiftest booster. And then we play this plus one. And then we win. Much damage! Yes, take that, dignitary! Okay. Radiant Staff 3. Had a strike and gained 3 magic damage bonus for 2 rounds. So this is a super priest weapon, basically. Oh, 5 extra EP per strike. Very good. Hmm. What's that moon thingy? Darkness resistance 100? Oh, that's super good. I mean, we're about to face Brute's Pyramid. There's a lot of darkness stuff in there. Hmm. So 
we deal less damage with it though. Well, it's only by two. And then we get darkness resistance, we deal holy damage. You know what? We're taking the staff. Boss weapon. Show me that you're withy. Withy of my wielding you. Okay. Mystery pack. What do you have for me? It's a mystery. I'm not going to take that other plus three. I won't take this other Shadow Clone Prison. Okay. Well, dear viewer, next time, we shall peruse the Chaos Pyramid that Root is in. Hopefully you've enjoyed the Staff of Glavender. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to see more I was giving videos. Comment below on what you thought of the dignitary. Was he dignified? Was he a crazy rave person with a cool staff thing? I don't know. But I think you have an opinion. Have a great day, dear beer.